Hey everyone. Hey guys. Welcome back to Let's, Let's play, play Red Dead. Red. Sorry, were you gonna say? It? No, go ahead. No, no, it's fine. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No. Now this is just awkward. Let's play Red Dead Redemption Two, uh, episode twenty-one. And we're playing dominoes. Good enough. And Jason has no idea what he's doing. I have no idea whatsoever. Um, we're losing. Yeah. Yes, you are. It's like, how do you, how does the points, how are you, does this give me points? Nope. Can someone please tell Jason how to play dominoes? I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, put that there. Oh, fine. I give up. Whatever. I'm good at shooting people. Let's go do that. Last time we rescued Jack. And we did rescue met Jack. the Italian gentleman. And now we're going to talk to Mary Beth. Mary Beth. Oh, so I found out something. Let me share. Go ahead, share. You see these little black dots on the mini map? Yes. So what those are are chores. And what you can do is you can go and do chores and you get honor. So for example, chopping wood. This is extremely exciting. Oh, I only got a few that I need to chop. Da -da 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 -da. Chopping wood, chopping wood. Look, I got like three more logs. Plus this will make oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> It'll make me all big and muscly. Like I already look like a lumberjack with my beard. Yeah. I'm like a lumber pirate. A lumber pirate. A lumber pirate. Do those exist? Yes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes the chore will just be like moving some bags for or cooking or see? Hey, experience and honor. Yay, honor. So then, for example, what is this one? This is probably moving some bales of hay. But see, then I, I can be a really good person. You already are a pretty good person, except for that bounty that you have. Let's not talk about that. If you remember, we had to shoot some grave robbers. Hello, and Mary then Beth. The law. How and are I you, Arthur? Kill a uh, cop. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> Yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but... In reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. She's feisty. I like her. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know what they are going to be quick. doing? Die. No. She's at a place called We haven't Bradley's seen Sadie house. in a while. Just west Sadie, there. Sadie. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed.
killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. Eviscerate? <laughs> you do care. Damn, Miss Grinshaw. Of course I care about all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah. Let's go get Miss T Miss Tilly. Is that what? Yep, Tilly. Tilly back. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. <laughs> All right, Miss Grimshaw. Whoa. What you want? What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said, you dead oh, your life. Shit. <laughs> she ain't messing around. Oh. She just stabbed a guy. Kick it. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna pick it. Okay. Shit! Sh shit. <laughs> yeah, you fall over that chair. Oh. Just kick it open. Hi, Tilly. We're here to rescue you. This is a rescue mission. <laughs> Can I loot things first? Is there anything? Nope, I gotta cut her free. It's my only option. It's okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... It don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, we, we have a horse. It's a spotted horse. It's so cute. Oh, get after them. She really ain't messing around. No, she's not. They done pissed her off. We're coming for you, you bastards! <laughs> They're heading down the hill to the water. Bye. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. Right. I think that last one. The missions where we have like Women are always so fun. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> they're so. Don't kill him yet. I want. Oh, Billy last one. The last word on this bastard. Come on, get him, Arthur. You're making a big mistake. Come here. That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Can we keep this horse? No, no. Make these nice and tight. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little check. <laughs> I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. Okay. I want to keep this horse. It's a nice horse. I think I have an open stable spot. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that I hope your head hits a tree, you bastard. I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is... Yeah, whatever. Nobody cares. You kidnap someone. 
she killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. <laughs> what are you gonna do with me? I ain't coward. Go to hell. I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. Dump him on the ground. Get a good look at this monster. It's not up to me, it's up to her, dude. You pissed her off. Alright, let's go. If it were up to us, we'd probably let you go, but she's probably gonna kill you. So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Let him go. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. I know. We're good people. I know. I don't know why I'm good people. I don't want to be good people. Any Being loot? bad people's more loot. fun. Ooh, some canned meat. You love you some canned meat. And an apple. Let's see if there's anything else around here. Why does every house we go into look like a goddamn dump? Because it's a goddamn dump? Oh, Barely what's... even had any. Ooh, hair tonic. What's that? They're on the. Hair. Looks like a little bit of cash. Yeah, it's like. Money! $15! Hey, it's better than nothing. That's good. Little coin purse. Buck seventy. There'll be something in this chest. Shotgun shells. A shovel. Yeah, the shovel's not gonna do any good. You don't wanna bury dead bodies with the shovel? <laughs> we just throw them in the river. Anything in here? Nope. Look at that. It's literally, like, so disgusting. Ew. Like, ew. Chino. Ew. I mean, like, look at the dirty food plate. Just clean your dishes, people. Just savages. Where's that pretty horse? Let's go. Giddy up. Giddy up. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> oh, nope. Wrong button. All right. Ooh, stranger. A stranger. We always love strangers. Sometimes you interesting. meet guys in costumes looking for, like, wild animals. There, girl. I just edited that video where we found <laughs> that guy. He's, he's British, of course. He's British, of course. <laughs> oh, it's that dude. He's still looking for Gavin. I don't know who Gavin is. Ooh, while we're here. Be nice and convenient. Pay your bounty. To go pay my bounty. <laughs> here enough to 
scare the horses looking like that. Hey, don't That's talk about my looks, damn it. This town's full of mean people. Can't wait to leave this whole area. I like area. to play dress up too. No, I like to play dress up too. It's because of the hat. Hey, move! Oh, I guess Great that's true. Scott. Oh, he's over at that side. Nothing to see here. Just doing a pirate hat. Hello. Glad you dropped in. I've got that uh hello information you asked for. Apparently you can ask him about moonshine. Yeah. Remember I gotta find all that moonshine for the one dude? Um I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of Moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Well, there it is. About as good as a one-handed dealer. Sure am sorry to hear that. Oh. Gotta go into my satchel. San Denis. Saint Denis. Yeah. Look at my spotted horse. Is there a stable here? No, there's not. Go meet the stranger. We're gonna go meet the stranger. In this game, we want to talk to strangers. <laughs> You're leaving me, huh? Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this there. Gentlemen, gentlemen. What you fools up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault to Darky White. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. Right. And I'll right. tell you, on. you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Wait, oh, we don't have to do it right now. We'll come back and do it. Sound good? Sounds great. Cool. So, we're gonna, let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have, um, ooh, what's this one? Oh, the, the priest dude. We have an optional one with Mary Linton. You remember her? She nope. my old lover. Oh. Actually, that'd be a fun one to do. Let's go, let's go meet up with Mary. And her son. Yeah, we got, let's see here. Take a stagecoach. You're gonna what? Take a, take what a stage. What about your horse? The horse will follow me. No, it won't. Yes, he will. I think it's a she, but whatever. Oh my god. Go okay, for a ride. Two dollars and fifty cents. There it is. See? He follows along. She. Does it matter? Yes. You know what? Don't like my sass? You're being too sassy right now. You love my sass. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Don't mm. you lie. Nope. No love here. I'm watching you. Mm hmm. You can wake up now. This is it. 
<laughs> Your horse is so pretty. Come on, girl. We're going to go take him down to the stable. She. Oh my god, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Are they the stable for? are a good horse. Alms for the blind. I don't know. The last time I gave money to the blind guy, he wasn't actually blind. Fucker. Because I I like Darrow, and Darrow's I paid good money for Darrow. We're gonna ride him. It cost me almost a thousand damn dollars. No, stop! No. Oh. You always hit so hard. <laughs> What happened? I just, um, I'm gonna fall over <laughs> here. What should we name this horse? Spot. No. Pongo. <laughs> it's a girl. What was, what was the female uh, donation? Per, per, Perdita? Well, it's a pretty good horse. <laughs> She's so pretty. So we got Claudio, tag. Why can't we have Darrow? Because he's back at camp, but we're gonna get him. But look at, look, see, this is a pretty good horse. They're all good horses, but look at his stats. Like, pretty good money for Darrow. Compared to the new horse. Alright. Well, right. at least we get to keep the spotted horse. Yes, we are gonna keep. I wasn't gonna get rid of the spot. Yeah, although he's worth 15 bucks. But... No. That is a good old horse. So quick. You're all right, boy. I need to continue to bond with him. I'm looking for Gavin. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm he's looking for Gavin. He's following us. Or maybe everyone's Rest looking for. I still don't know who Gavin is. Everybody's looking for Gavin. You're in the damn way. <laughs> yeah, okay, boy. Too many people in this town. <laughs> okay, Daryl. <laughs> I can rear him. It's feisty. Right. You stay here. Be a good horse. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Nothing to see here, gentlemen. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur... Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. 
We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. But it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. I think she still has feelings for me. I think they're not good for each other. You don't think so? Mm, no. So what do you Drinking so a hair what tonic do you on horseback. Think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. I'm not gonna hit him, don't worry. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, it's... Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I am no unwell. such thing. You get away from me, you head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Can I have his top hat? Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever. Can you imagine me in a top oh, Arthur, hat? Arthur, he's up no. to no good. We better follow him. Okay. I just love, like, the way that Arthur just speaks. <laughs> the whole interaction with that guy was really yeah, funny. Yeah, just, <laughs> if you continue to irritate me. He went around the corner. I wonder where he's going. To the bar, maybe? Maybe. Oh. Hold on. Wait, Arthur. Any closer and he'll spot us. Well, you're standing there in plain sight. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Quick. Mind where you go. 
Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You certainly dress differently. <laughs> God damn to. it! Such harsh judgments, Mrs. Lynn. Shame on you. Stop making fun of the way I dress. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. I am comfortable in my appearance. Is it the hat? Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. None of the ladies like the hat. I think they go for a more traditional approach. Not saying that your way is bad. I'm just saying. They're lame. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was yeah, mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money, and should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a gift to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. No. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. You probably killed someone. Oh, would you like that? Arthur knows how to intimidate people without killing them. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Whoop. Run! Well, ride! Stop that coach! Get back here! I don't think you're gonna catch him. Come on, we can get him. Maybe they'll break down. Oh! Well, that wasn't it. Damn it. Okay, All right, boy. come on. <laughs> Were you on the wrong horse? <laughs> of course, that wasn't our horse. I didn't think it was. That was just a stranger's horse. That's why I whistled for a Darrow so he'd come up behind us. Plus, Darrow's faster. There you go. Oh! I hit the wrong button! <laughs> wow. Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm having a rough day, okay? Uh, apparently. Are you drunk? Don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree. There you go. What the hell? <laughs> just throw the guy off. Oh, no, I'm just gonna stay on it. Let me out of here! No! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're just going for a little ride. No big deal. You got nothing to worry about. I told the lady I wouldn't Where hurt nobody. As long as you give the brooch to us, you know, I'll, I'll be fine. Did Gillis put you up to this? Excuse me, sir. Arthur Morgan does what he wants. Oh. Do you know who I, am? I don't give two shits who you are. I just want to get out of this damn swamp. I think you're drunk. I, I'm just a little wobbly, okay? You can't do this. Yep. Um. Horses? <laughs> uh. Up that road, fair and square. <laughs> We're getting off. Can you? <laughs> yep. You're making a big mistake. <laughs> I'm literally stuck. Wow. <laughs> Failed. <laughs> How does that even? Wagon destroyed. <laughs> Note to all our viewers, don't do that. Don't, don't just get, st I didn't even hit it. Like, <sighs> it wasn't my fault. Let me out of here. No. No, he didn't. I mean, he sort of did, but... <laughs> Drive through the water. Get out of there! Come on. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, it's just a brooch! I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. What did you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. Just take offer. it. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Don't. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Don't. Don't kill him. She asked you not to. I know. Where's Darrow? Oh, go. I'm fine. These people say mean things to me, and I want to be able to kill them, and you won't let me. Make fun of the way I dress. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Sure. I'll go on a date. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? 
It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. We're going to watch a theater show. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, oh. the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, Mate. I never dreamed of the stir I would create so. in this locality. Just start and not. Are you of in the a rush, The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar Full of canned goods. Well, all right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Say, come with me in the parlors and brothels of Saint Denis. The porter 
Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see. Yeah, you you, you yeah. love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Let's see. Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire, or to spend time in the company of strange women. <laughs> you oh. are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Stop it. How about that? How about that? How are you feeling about this show? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Wonder how long it goes on. <laughs> Come on, hot mama, shake it. The other lady was really good. What? The other lady was really good. The singer. It's just one of those little tidbits that like you could go the whole game without ever seeing. Yeah. You don't have to go. You could leave at any time. I can heckle. <gasps> Jason. <laughs> Take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. Anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. 
then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. talking about Blackwater. Why can't he just be happy? It's just not fair. Eh. She's so nice. Yeah. She'd be good for us. No. No? Well. I'm not really on the Mary train. You're not, why aren't you on the Mary? What do you have against Mary? I like Sadie. Sadie, Sadie. Sadie, Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> like, how can you have somebody against Mary? She seems nice. Her She's dad's okay. a prick. She alright. She party. She alright. <laughs> You're just like, eh. We're gonna go get our horse. And we're gonna head back to camp. And next episode, it looks like we're gonna be talking to Hosea. <laughs> Gavin? Gavin? Out of the damn world. Yeah, what's going on? Well, it's broken to our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. I got to do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack down in the swamp by the water. Okay. Uh, uh, go. You got to save his wife. I'll find him on help. Probably gonna have to kill some people. Yep, hence the shotgun. We'll go rescue your wife if she's still alive. Probably have to kill some people in the process. It's good because we haven't really killed many people this episode. Yeah, it's a change of pace from our last episodes. I feel like our last chunk of episodes we did was just like all killing people. Uh, it's been. <gasps> Alligator! Oh god! Easy there, easy. We're fine. Oh, scary. <laughs> oh, please, please, please. Sorry, I weren't here sooner. <laughs> Just shoot the one guy through the window with the shotgun. you getting some honor. Come on, ma'am. We're gonna take you back to your husband. You saved my honor! Christ! What a mess! <laughs> <laughs> Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them. And I don't want them rotting indoors. Let's throw them in the water. Sorry, I'll cl I'm, I'm cleaning up your house. Don't worry about it. There's a cigarette card. Hey, now we have that one. That now, you hear? She's being very demanding. She is. For someone, like, you just saved her life. Sorry about the blood stain on your floor. It ain't enough, but please take it. In the where? In the sack. Oh, thank you again. You my god name. <laughs> Fifty bucks. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. And a bunch of honor. Look at us go. That was a nice little detour. 
That was a good way to end our episode. Yeah. So, guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe. All the things. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Goodbye.